Hi, my name is Laura, and um, my real life situation for language um, question that I got from the TOK link provided to us is should we get rid of words in order to improve communication? Now, from the article that I read, um, Mark Zuckerberg asked to describe was well, he was asked to describe Facebook's future, and what he said was we'll have AR, augmented reality and other devices that we can wear almost all the time to improve our experience and communication. One day I believe we'll be able to send full rich thoughts to each other directly using technology. You'll just be able to think of something and your friends will immediately be able to experience it too if you'd like. This would be the ultimate communication technology and Mark Zuckerberg's opinion. And even some predict that the Apple Watch will track emotions within a few years. And after like reading all this uh, this article, there's like these other two articles down below in which these other points of view and opinions that like you can see is interesting because they all they all think like this um this um telepathic communication could be the future in which I believe too is the future and all. And in my opinion, we can get rid of words in order to improve communication because sometimes words are not enough to like express how you feel, exp explain what you're thinking. Sometimes there's things in life that are undescribable. Now there is this research that um, a Harvard mathemat mathematician named Norbert Wiener developed. Well he developed um, the concept which he defined as controlling communication in the animal and the machine. Following a wartime project aimed at increasing the accuracy of anti-aircraft guns, Wiener surmised that pilots react to being shot and in a predictable patterned fashion. The gunner and the pilot were effectively communicating with each other despite no words being exchanged, with the actions of each one influencing the actions of the other. Um, it seems that shooting accuracy is a, re a recurring gog of telepathic success in the history of American science. Um, I honestly don't know how this happened, but it seems quite quite interesting, though. But at the end of this whole article, what I read, um, which is actually true and understandable, is that somebody, a human being, still needs to decide what counts as happy or want before a, mach a machine can be programmed to identif ident I can be programmed to identify and transmit those. Now, honestly, for example, you have the emojis that nowadays um, people use. Um, it's Zuckerberg's. Um, well, in in at the end of the article, Zuckerberg's um, ultimate communication, uncluttered by culture and metaphor, would still be mediated by something, like some designed according to the cultural assumptions or the scientist or the programmer. And it's true because you still have the, for example, the emojis or something that people most frequently use, even I use, um, to try and express how I feel. And I've had real life situations of language in which I don't use words to communicate whatsoever. For example, um, I had this one time where I thought something was so, like, sad but at the same time stupid that there wasn't like some phrase or word not something to precisely I didn't precisely say anything to my sister but what I did was just turn over to look at her and she understood somehow she understood that it was sad and stupid at the same time because <laughs> the level of ridiculousness in the movie that we were watching because that's what what I was looking at and thought of and funny that she she understood me without without even um without even um having heard a word from me honestly i do believe we can get rid of like com like word communication because with face expression it's easy to ex to understand one another because sometimes word words are not enough to communicate and sometimes they're not precise and they limit us, truthfully. And 
human feelings and all of that, well, they're unlimited, so. We can get rid of communication in words and still communicate with expressions only, just like with emojis or face expressions. It's quite like nowadays people communicate like that and a future without a word communication is possible and having also telepathic communication is quite cool too but honestly we understand each other pretty much just by sharing common thoughts or face expressions or emojis that we just we understand what they're trying to say to us without necessarily having words to describe what we want to say. So, yeah. I'm Laura Rosario from 1102, and this is my opinion on should we get rid of um, words in order to improve communication. Thanks.